So I'm going to take a minute just to show you a thing or two about the saw. This is not your grandpa's table saw. Uh, this has a thinking, uh, sensing brain in it that uh, is basically there to save your fingers in the event of contact with the blade. Instead of cutting your fingers off, as any other saw would do, this saw, if it detects any kind of disruption in the uh, electromagnetic field or the current that's being passed through this blade, it triggers a release of this aluminum brake cartridge, okay, which is going to slam into the blade almost instantaneously while the whole mechanism drops down below the table. Okay, it's pretty amazing. You can go on YouTube and you can find videos of people uh, sticking... There's a link on the course website. Hot dogs. Um, one guy who actually puts his own finger into the blade because he trusts the technology that much. Um, as much as I trust this, I'm not that guy. Um, let's say this works 99.9% .9 of the time. You don't want to be that. This is the sled that we use to accomplish this cut. Right, so, let's say I wanted to cut off just the end of this board because it's um, not exactly what I want it to be. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is set the height of the blade, okay? And typically you wanna be about an eighth of an inch higher than the wood you're cutting. So I'm just going to adjust this so it's a little bit above. Lock that top. And I want everyone to see the switch as well. This is really important. Uh, this is not the same as uh, just a simple on-off switch like you have on the bandsaw or on the router cable. This is a, a two-part uh, process. Okay, the light switch here goes up, up position. Okay, and did everyone notice how? Okay, it's got the green light there. Um, it, yeah. I want to show you how. If there's any kind of, if it senses anything on the blade, what's to happen? See that? It's saying I'm not going to turn on because something inductive is touching. Okay. Same would be true with your finger. Uh, okay. When it determines that the threat has passed, it's going to go. What about the top of the blade? Any part of the blade. It doesn't matter what okay. what you're touching. Uh, and you know, if you've got a piece of wood with a nail in it and you're cutting it. This happened to me before, you hit that nail, boom, it'll trigger it because it's conductive. If it's a big enough nail, if it's just a little tiny staple, maybe not. Um, so when that green light is just standing alone, it's ready to go. Okay. Um, the second part is lifting up this paddle switch. Cut. And this is set up so that it automatically gives you a 90 degree angle. Okay? So when you're squaring things off, this is a great way to do it. Um, you notice how I pushed it through? And when I got to here, when the blade was coming through the back of the sled, I stopped. I didn't go like this. Some people do that. Okay? And it's a very bad habit. Because if you have some sawdust here and you slip, you can imagine. Um, definitely don't want that to happen. So it's much better. Just go, you know, just use good body mechanics and not leaning forward excessively. I'm in control. And I bring it back. Then um, another cool thing about this is you can just tap it off with your knee. Just hit the switch with your knee and shut it off. Uh, so that is the, the nice thing about this sled. It makes cross cutting really easy. Um, you notice how I had, remember this is the side that we straightened out using the joiner, okay? This side's nice and straight. Remember how this side is, this side's still the rocking horse because we haven't been straightened out yet. So I wouldn't want to see anyone doing this, okay? Uh, because if 
doesn't have those two points of contact, you don't want to be putting it into 